this Unity devlog, I'll show you how I created the parkour levels for my 3D game. Because as you can see, I created a lot of them. I'm going to show you the exact process of what I did in order to create each level. Because I've created 10 levels in total. I usually start with this empty copy scene of the spacecraft. And then I modify it however I want it to be. So for example, in this scene here, I duplicated the wall to create a lot of corridors. Once I am happy with the scene I created, I do some little tweaks and go hop into play mode to see if everything looks the way I want it to look. I usually start out by creating a cube and just changing the dimensions of that. I position the cubes however I want them to be. For example, right here, I created the plane as a start for the player. And then I begin by adding things like walls and the other parkour elements. When I've created a part, I give each parkour aspect its color, so it's easier for the player to see where everything is. And then I hop into play mode to see if everything works as intended. So after doing some tweaks and testing if the level is actually possible, I continue to build a second part of the level. And then once the level is created, I test everything, give everything a color and adjust the things that do not work. And once the level is fully finished, I do add in the acid. So the player dies when they touch the acid. I just always add in the acid afterwards. So I don't die <laughs> a lot of times while testing the level myself. And then afterwards I test it with the acid once again. And don't ask me why I've got the acid in the color folder, because acid is clearly not a color. <laughs> I do playtest each level a lot of times to find out if everything is working correctly. So as you might have noticed, I have changed up the arm, because previously the arm or the thumb of the arm was not on the left side because this is a right arm and then on the right arm your thumb is on the left side and previously it was on the right side and th that's kind of unrealistic yeah so that's why i changed it as i've mentioned earlier i've created all of these different levels so level zero is the tutorial level and then goes all the way to level 10. in some levels there are also some smaller tasks that you need to complete for example, in this level, there are all of these buttons at this wall, and then I can shoot each button. And once I shoot all of the buttons, as you will see, the acid disappears on this level. So then, if I fall down, I don't die, and I do not have to restart. And now, because I fall down, I don't die. I can just walk back here and do the same thing again, and so I don't have to. Like, do the part at the beginning a second time. In each level, in all of the previous levels, you'll be able to find a color. And then in this level, you'll have to shoot the colors in the correct order they disappeared in the previous levels. It's being communicated at the beginning, so you note down which colors you have. And then you have to shoot it in the correct order. Yes, and then the aliens disappear and you like completed the level. I've also reworked the shooting animation and the muzzle flashes. I accidentally deleted level 5. I always make backups. I'm, I'm really happy that I had a backup because I accidentally deleted the scene. I don't know how I deleted the scene but I ac it, it accidentally happened. And because I had the backup I did not ma I did not have to create the level a second time because like this scene is like really really ginormous and it, it took like multiple hours creating this scene just this one scene and i'm really happy that i had a backup with this because it's 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 really it's a big scene at the beginning of the tutorial level you can see this text which says what you have to do and i have changed up this text because earlier I used a Unity 3D text and not this one and the problem with the Unity 3D text was that you could just see it through everything 
So if there is a wall, you could still see the text. Uh, with this text, you cannot see it through the walls. It's just a text that I created in Critter with the text tool. I ran into an issue with this last level when I built. As you can see, right here, I have got multiple walls so you can jump along with this. So I built the whole level and everything worked fine until suddenly things were getting really, really weird. So this right here is a wall and I rotated it to make it face the right direction. So this right here is just walls rotated by a certain angle. But if you look here, when I rotated it, it got stretched in a really, really weird way. If you look over here, this is how 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 it looked, and it is it is totally unnatural to have it this wall be so stretched. This is how a wall normally rotates, and the ends don't get stretched in a weird way. All of these cubes were in this empty park your object so the whole thing is more organized and just clear to look at but then when i moved all of the cubes out of this park your object i didn't have the weird rotating issue everything had a really weird scale you can see the scales are just totally messed up i don't know why this happened but at least i'm, I'm very glad that i have found a solution to this problem and as you can see, I got a little bit more creative up here. I created like this arch thing that you can you can walk through. At the beginning of the level, there is like a moving platform and you have to wait for it. These cylinders, it's kind of difficult getting over them. But I think it serves for some interesting gameplay. You have got these pipes that you have to go through. And over here, I have created this moving platform. Basically just like an elevator. You step onto it and then it transports you up to the second floor. And this is nothing fancy, all this is, this is an animation that has these starting positions and the cement positions and then right here and then it just always moves between these points. Now the game is almost finished, I just need to do some little tweaks and then play test the game. But I'll let you know here on this channel when the game is released. So make sure to like if you like and dislike if you didn't. Smash subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next devlog. And then I hope I see you soon. Bye.